Hello Dreamies, welcome back to my channel. You guys, today is a very exciting vlog. For those of you who are on my channel, you know that on my channel I do uh, apartment touring series. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, so, so far I have done a, a part one and two of touring luxury apartments in downtown Columbus, Ohio. And I show you guys your options and uh, the prices of what you'll be paying if you were to get those apartments. And you guys love it. And I love filming them. So this is not part three because this is on a more specific location, but it's literally downtown. But it's like this part is the heart of downtown. So today, you guys, I'm going to give you guys tours of apartments in the short north. Okay. Short north is basically the heart of downtown. Okay. It's the popping, popping, dropping city. And if you love city and action and luxury living, then short north it is. It's been my dream to live there since college, but your boy doesn't have the capital for that just yet, okay? Uh, so that is that, but I'm gonna give you guys a tour of some beautiful apartments in the short north with prices, and you guys can enjoy and take it from there. Actually, two of these apartments in this, uh, two of the apartment buildings in this video are, could be OSU campus apartments too, for OSU students. So they built these two luxury ones. One of them is very specified to OSU students, and then they're building a new one across the street which will be students also, but normal people can live also. All right, so you guys, without any further ado, before you continue, please hit that subscribe button, join the family so you can stay up to date with this kind of content. Content, And I will, in the description box below, leave the links to my part one and two of Tour and Luxury Apartments in downtown Columbus, you guys. All right, let's go. All right, you guys, I am in the short north. So right now we're about to go to our very first apartment. I'm super excited. I've never told this, toured this building before. So it's gonna be new to me and new to you guys. So I'm excited to see what this is about. All right, you guys, this is the apartment. It's called the Sutan. <clears throat> Sutton. I'll put it up on the screen, obviously, but. you guys this is the lobby space for this apartment complex just a cute small beautiful space enough for you to just hang around real quick got a little pamphlet and this is a cactus for absolute no reason i took a shot of it just to make it fun and this is some artworks in the hallways they have i think on each floor this is their parking garage which is 125 dollars a month which is a really good deal you guys and over here is the mail room so they even have a package room. This is their club lounge. So you can come here and live your best life, relax, work on stuff, edit your videos if you're a YouTuber. Just whatever you got to do, you do that. And there is a fee you pay for it as a community every month to keep the clubhouse going. I, did, I never heard that before, you guys. So they that's something new. Now you have all these extra fees to be paying, okay? This is their courtyard, really beautiful. It's in the inside of the apartments, facing the kind of alley street, so you're not seeing any city views, which is, I think, kind of sad on my end. I want to live in the city and see the city not be, like, trapped in a corner. This is the only downfall of this place, which is literally in the short north. It's just in a, in a street, but here's the courtyard, very fun and beautiful. All right, you guys, right now we're going to be touring the one-bedroom unit, which is... Uh, one thousand eight hundred dollars a month 707 square feet 
right? Very beautiful apartment, very big, like 707 square. That's huge. I would not even need this. First of all, I can't even afford this, but even if I could afford it, I do not need this one bedroom apartment. I want to live in the studio and live my best life. Gorgeous, gorgeous apartment. It is facing the courtyard. So I think that's depressing on my end. Again, you don't get to see the beautiful city views, which is a major for me. If it's not a major for you, then you're good to go. Huge walk-in closets, just very refreshing apartment. Here's the look of the living room a little more and the kitchen. So very, very fun little apartment. Not little, huge one, but it doesn't feel like you're living in the city. It's more like, you know, luxury apartments, but not so much in the city. Short North vibes, okay? So I'm going to final overlook at it, you guys. Again, that's $1,800 a month. And here we are in the studio, which I really love the layout. It is so fun, so beautiful. A little walk-in closet right there for you guys. Um, I hate, I hate, I hate that it has a tub and not a, just a shower. I rather have a shower. I hate tubs. I hate having a curtain that really bothers me a lot. You guys, I want it to be a walk-in shower and the living room space again over here is so big. This is a studio. Um, I forgot. I didn't, he didn't know what the square feet was, but I think it's probably around like closer to 500 and it is 1375 a month. You guys, this one, look how beautiful the layout is 1375 a month. And there's another one that's. 1355 is just the floor below it that's why and i didn't tour it same thing it's just the 20 dollars difference you guys i think it's about to rain right now i'm on to my next apartment so here comes a Nicki minaj meme oh no we gotta go okay so like we gotta go okay you guys this apartment is still under construction uh it is called eight and high which is further down the short north and uh, it's probably going to be mainly student housing, but you can live there as a normal person also. This is the parking garage. It's going to be 125 a month to park here also, so you have that. All right, you guys, here is a one bedroom in this apartment building. Obviously, excuse the mess, they're still working on it. So they were super kind enough to show me the apartment. I think that's amazing, even though they're not done being built. I am in love with the kitchen style, cabinets, the backsplash. I think that is extremely beautiful. This one bedroom goes for 1700 It is 745 square feet, you guys. So again, a lot of space, beautiful cabinets, the views. No, there is no views. It's facing like an alley. You got a little bedroom right here. Sorry for this terrible filming. I'm so sorry. Uh, and then the bedroom uh, is connected to the bathroom and you can go into the bathroom from the hallway. Again, very nice details. Uh, but I don't know. It's not beautiful shower, but again, it's not facing no city views. So if you don't care about that, this is a good place for you to live. And enjoy your best life again one bedroom seventeen hundred dollars that is a really high price right you guys um so that is that they've got a walk-in closet and you got your laundry in there really beautiful beautiful apartment all right here's my favorite you guys it is a studio so very excited to tour this one this is about 452 square feet and it is $1,450 a month. Here's your little closet space. Again, that's out of my budget, but um, I think it's a good deal. It's just, again, your beautiful kitchen, but terrible, terrible views. Like you're paying this much money to not even have a good view. Okay. But it's a gorgeous apartment. As you guys can see, it's not even being done, being built. No floors in here, you guys. Like how freaking crazy is that? But again, I love the kitchen. Love the vibe. So yeah, that's what you get. The uh, apart bathroom is still under huge construction. Yo, we are under construction up in here for real, for real. We're we're at a point where touring apartments are not even done being built. I love that. That's iconic. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I do love the kitchen so much. All right, guys. I'm drinking some coffee right here. About to tour another one that's literally right across the street from the one I just toured. So that worked, you guys. Let's go. All right, you guys. Here's the next one called Highline at 9. It's right across the street from the one we just saw. 
you guys, this is very, very, very tailored to students living. This is just some of their like spaces. I just got quick shots of it. I, I, the energy was just following me off here. I didn't even feel too comfortable filming. I don't know, just the vibe was just not there in this building. They have a pool, like club space. This is a very student-based living, you guys. You can live here as a graduate, but this is just a model one bedroom they had, you guys. And this model one bedroom goes for about, I think he said $1,900, $1,900 to live in this apartment, you guys. Um, and it's facing the courtyard, and it comes furnished, by the way. You add your decorations, but it comes furnished. So I'm like, uh -uh. as a student, awesome, and you must have really rich parents. But as a normal person, graduated, this is not the place you'll be living uh, and be told what you should be, how, what kind of furniture you should have. So that kind of really turned me off. Kind of also made me sad. I'm like, damn, I want to be a student now. Like, you know, just student vibes made me feel nostalgic and back to that craziness um so yeah that was definitely not a place for me to live so they have one bedrooms and they have uh buildings with four bedrooms where you have to share it with other roommates so but you don't have to worry about the other parts you just pay for your bedroom and the price for that you guys you just for a bedroom you pay eleven hundred dollars a month to live with three other people you share the living room space. You just have your bedroom. You have your own closet and your um, own bathroom, but you share the laundry and stuff. So eleven hundred. I mean, it's a vibe. If you're a if you're going to Ohio State, you're a student, and if you want to live with roommates, then why not? I think that's cool. But again, you must have rich parents to be able to do that. You guys. All right, you guys, the next one we're going to tour is called the Lux 23. Pretty cool in the short north. Um, it's a very luxurious apartment. I think it's, the vibe is cool. So as you can see, the balconies, it's connected to like a restaurant and the lounge area downstairs. Um, so they try to make this very fancy, cool vibe place. This is my first time coming in here, you guys. This place is definitely interesting, you guys. Look at the elevators. And this is like, I think like the first floor is like a lounge, a park, a restaurant. And this is what we walk into. And this is their little club lounge space and the connected to the office, you guys. Very fun, uh, colorful building uh, and artistic, I guess, the vibe. It's all good. Um, and some artwork for you guys. Here we are touring a one bedroom, you guys. And this goes for uh, $15.35, this one bedroom apartment. And $200 is parking, and then you got other fees too. Uh, I think it's, again, very gorgeous uh, appliances and design texture. I think it's really neat job again no city views that's the issue all these apartments for me defeat the purpose of living in the short north you guys like i'm gonna live in the short north but not be able to see it in action no thank you it has a balcony you're gonna be facing the patio area whatever so gorgeous apartment a big one bedroom um so yeah, here's the kitchen a vibe 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 why am i stuck at the kitchen you guys all right let's move on here is the bedroom they have a little nice walls for you guys. Look at that little framing on the walls. Makes it like more beautiful and elevated. So I love that. It's really high end. The doors, as you guys can see, marble floors. They really did spend their time to make sure everything is looks expensive. Look at that bathtub. I mean, the shower. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Every designs they chose, I truly am in love with. Like that is really beautiful. 
uh, every detail and look at the um, closet you guys it doesn't have those racks it's the wooden shelving which is more elevated and more expensive so 1535 if you want to live here you guys not i guess not bad i don't know here's some more of the kitchen view and here's what their hallways look like if you guys were wondering and this is the downstairs like lobby lounge restaurant the lounge space is for like members only so i don't know how you do that but yeah if you want to eat here you don't have to live here to be able to enjoy this amenities though okay you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of touring apartments in the short north let me know what was your favorite apartments let me know if you guys want uh me touring short north apartments part two or a part three to the downtown ones. Let me know what are you guys are interested in, all the apartment kind of content. I will give it to you guys. You guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Join the family. Become a dreamy. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.